reason I used to always do a what's worth it video when it came to fashion trends and I would just compile a little list of you know the trends that I thought were worth it and what could be good little additions to your wardrobe and I haven't done that in a while and I'm not doing that today. I thought what we could do today is just go through some of the trends for fall slash winter 2021. I'm gonna give my little hot take on what I won't be wearing and maybe things that I would be wearing but here's the thing I don't really follow trends anymore and I haven't for quite some time you know I unfollowed all the big fashion bloggers and I just kind of do my own thing if I like something and I know I'm gonna wear it and it's something I feel would be a good fit to my wardrobe, then I'm gonna add it to my wardrobe. Otherwise, you know, I'm not actively seeking out trends and trying to have the hottest things each season. It's just not who I am anymore. But I thought this could be a fun video. What I did, so I'm gonna pull up on Harper's Bazaar. They compiled a nice little list of some of the hottest trends for fall slash winter 2021. And I'm just gonna go through and share, you know, what I would not be wearing this season and things that, you know, maybe, maybe could work out. All right, so the first trend they had listed down is sequence. That would be a no for me. <laughs> That's just something I would not be adding to my wardrobe and I would probably never be wearing unless it was for some sort of event or occasion or something where I'm getting extremely dressed up for, but that's not my day-to-day uh, -day life. Next one they had is a little bit of color or a little off color and this is more of those like neon tones, those bright colors, and that's also not my vibe, so not a trend I would ever invest in as I'm wearing color here, but I personally love more muted colors, more subdued tones, and neutrals. And that's what I stick with in my wardrobe. So just because there's a specific color or bright colors are on trend, I'm, I'm not planning on adding any of that to my wardrobe. I actually really like trends like this, the tailored on tailored. And this is one that's obviously very timeless and something that you can work with already within your wardrobe. So these are the kind of trends that I would go for just because you can work with those timeless pieces that you already have and it's not like you're adding something just for it to go out of fashion or or be dated in a year or two do you know what i mean the next trend that they had down is knits and this one I'm a fan of because I love a good chunky knit. And I noticed a lot of like big chunky cable knit sweaters. So those are super fun. Also something I think is very timeless. I mean, you can't go wrong with, with a good knit sweater. So this is one I would say is definitely worth it. Something um, I already obviously have in my wardrobe. I'm sure you have some knits in your wardrobe as well. So it's just playing around with those because knits... Obviously, that's obviously a thing. Every fall and winter, it's just they kind of you know, slightly tweak the, st the styles each season. So those are good ones to look out for. Also with the knitwear, there's a lot of the two-piece sets. So whether you have, you know, the matching bottoms and top, I'm a fan of that. I kind of like that because I'm a huge fan of comfort within my style. And that seems to be the way after, you know, the past year and a half we've had, like really focusing in on the comfort and having those um, more of that loungewear style. Style, so this is something that I vibe with. I'm, I'm here for it. Next up they have these après ski sweaters. Not something I would go out of my way to invest in, so not something I will be adding or wearing to my wardrobe this season but I don't hate this trend. I think it's kind of fun. I also think it's something that you could very easily find at the thrift store. This is one of those styles that I think can be quite timeless. Like if you don't go too crazy with it, it's something you can wear, you can wear forever. Next up they have um, very 20s inspired, which I'm here for as well. I really love 20s era fashion. I think it's really classic and really fun. So things like silks or laces and you know, more of that flapper style. I, I really admire that style. Once again, not something I would be rushing out to add to my wardrobe, but even just having those little details like the silk camisole that you pop underneath a blazer or something with a little lace trim. Those are great little ways to incorporate something like this without having to go crazy and you probably already have similar things or things you could already work with. Okay, the puffer coat. I'm not here for the puffer coat. <laughs> Definitely not. No, it's not my vibe. Uh, I don't think it's something I would ever add to my wardrobe and that's 
that's that on that. The cropped jackets, okay. This is also one that I'm not here for really and that I wouldn't be adding to my wardrobe because especially in the fall and the winter, like I like my jackets to kind of cover up. It gets real cold here and I don't want my midriff showing. I like being cozy and having more of those long line items of clothing. So yeah, the cropped jackets just don't really do it for me. And they also don't really suit my body type. So that's kind of why I steer clear of things like that. The next trend they have is the midi length, which I'm here for because I've always been a huge fan of things that are midi length or the longer line jackets, midi length skirts, midi length dresses, the whole nine yards. So that's something I already have a ton of in within my wardrobe. So I can obviously play around with that. And once again, one of those timeless trends because you can have the pieces that really suit your style and are those timeless pieces for you. Next they have keep it cozy, which is obviously a great trend for the fall and the winter. So like those big oversized coats, maybe faux fur coats, long line coats, something that has like that shearling lining, all of that jazz. Yes, yes, yes. Next they have the suit coat which I think is a good one as well because it's more of just a tailored style jacket. And once again, those are quite timeless pieces that you can have for Ever. So I think something like this, even just a classic camel coat does the trick. Then they have patterns. So for me, this would be something I probably wouldn't be wearing this fall and winter just because I'm not typically drawn to much pattern, um, but they are fun things that you can play around with. And if you invest in the right patterns for you, I mean, that's obviously something you can keep forever. Yeah, typically not something I'm drawn to. I have a lot of solids and neutrals and all of that jazz within my wardrobe. So kind of sticking on that wavelength um, and knowing that if I did add something like this to my wardrobe, it probably wouldn't stick around longer term. So just being conscious of what sticks around in your wardrobe and what doesn't, uh, especially when it comes to trends, can help you, you know, create that lasting wardrobe rather than jumping on everything just because it's hot for the moment. And lastly, they have back to black, obviously. We are here for this, obviously. So those are some of the top trends for fall winter 2021 that Harper's Bazaar had listed out. I will link their article down below if you wanted to check it out a little bit more in depth, but yeah, kind of fun. Hopefully you enjoyed this kind of video, not really something I've ever done before, but it was fun. <laughs> and uh, I'll catch you in the next one, bye.